The Outwin Vujiva Portrait Competition is the best portraiture that had been made in the last three years across America. It is an exciting program that has become one of our visitors' favorite exhibitions at the National Portrait Gallery. It really shows us what artists are doing right now, what they're thinking and how they're interpreting the long tradition of portraiture. We put a call out to artists across the country to send us their best images of people that they are looking at and talking about and have a relationship with in their communities. 2,600 artists entered the 2019 Outwin Vuciver Portrait Competition and 46 artists were selected as finalists. We bring that work to Washington where we keep it in a storage facility and come together as a jury to view each individual artwork in person. I love watching the jury come up with their own concept of portraiture. As you can imagine, there's a lot of debate and discussion about the work. Portraiture is definitely evolving. When it started off, it was a very elitist art form that was really reserved for those who were in the upper echelons of society. But as we as a country are changing, portraiture is changing. We define portraiture as likeness, a representation of an individual. That can be done in many different media, of course, painting and sculpture, drawing, prints, photography, but also video art. This year we even have a performance artist. It's quite a broad definition, but with every competition we see artists engaging with it in very fresh ways. Some of the themes that emerged in this year's final selection of works are stories of migration, the lives of members of the LGBTQ community, the lives of American workers, the lives of those in the military. I think some of these topics emerged because they're at the forefront of our national conversations. This year, for the first time, the call to artists invited artists to address their contemporary social and political context. We want to be a museum of the present, a museum that is a platform for those conversations. I think about where we're going as an institution, how our priorities have evolved. And in this competition, we changed the rules to a competition that represents historical figures who may not be represented in the Portrait Gallery's collection, people whose names are not known, but who have made an impact on the history of this country. The first prize winner receives $25,000 but also we work with them to find an individual that we would like to have represented in the collection permanently. A American who has changed American history and culture in some way. This year the jury was all in agreement that Hugo Crossway's work was really important, that he had an urgent story to tell through his stop motion animated drawings and that he deserved that first prize. I am delighted with this year's competition. I think the work is among the strongest work we've ever seen. I think that it will appeal to broad audiences and I'm sure that people who walk through our doors will find some connection to their own lives 